morning and welcome to another Antique Sunday. Now I'm returning to Mancaster Castle as promised last week and here you see myself and Jackie Harmon standing outside the castle after some really long days um, studying and uh, I was studying the pieces and um, Jackie was conserving them. And on this first slide uh, you'll see a bird of paradise worked on an arts and crafts piano cover. As you can see, the treatment of the edge was actually a green silk and it's a sort of ruffled edge. And this is the original edge from the piece. And uh, you can see that the Bird of Paradise is beautifully worked in each corner. When you drill down into the detail, you see the long and short stitch worked in a most extraordinarily accomplished way. And I know that the family at Buncaster Castle were very, very talented and experienced needlewomen going back through the generations, Philida um, and her mother, I think she's Lady Ransplen. This next slide shows the Wordsworth cuckoo design in the lower half and a couple of parrots in a symmetrical design above it. This letterbox owned by the family also uses this design, but just the lower half, which was the design we used for the Wordsworth Cuckoo. Again, the colours shaded through are really quite subtle and um, a, a real inspiration if you're looking for colours to wear or to decorate your house with or for you know the basis of your own embroidery designs. These reds go in really, really strong, deep colours and they're quite matched by the blues on the other part of the design. Upstairs, on a four-poster bed, there is a most gorgeous coat of arms, which I missed for a very long time when I was in Mancaster. But it was just really when we spent a whole week um, trying to conserve and document and act as volunteers with the collection in November <laughs> one year that um, I really noticed it. It's, it's something that I thought, well, it's, it's lovely, but you know, it was so beautifully made. It was almost too beautiful to take in. So um, when I was there for a long time, I managed to go in and take some photos. So they're not very beautifully lit, but um, that of course has kept the things, you know, undamaged for all these years. And I particularly like the lion. I've just had a birthday, I'm a Leo. And the lion is worked with padded, hard padded wool underneath really closely packed felting and then um, stitched over with silk and wool coming through it. And the, the just the expression on the lion's face, I think is extraordinary. And seeing the same embroidery from the side, you can see that it's been applied to the base material. So this has been conserved and reapplied during its lifetime, but absolutely valued by this castle, which has the most amazing textile collection.